What's going on, YouTube? This is Jim, joined by my lovely wife, Miss Rachel. How are you doing, Rachel? Great, Jim. How are you? I'm stoked. We are here because of this giant collector's edition game called Overwatch. We are, and it arrived one day I early. I know. I'm very excited. Um, so before we get into the box, all right. So what do you want to talk about? Clear the air. Once upon a time... We ordered the collector's edition of Overwatch. We did. For the PC. Master Race. At some point, some point, Best Buy sent me an email saying, hey, we noticed that you ordered the collector's edition, and now we've added this new thing to it. So we're also going to send you this. What is this, you might add? It is a metal plate. You were this close to hitting the microphone. That was amazing. But I did not. That was amazing. <laughs> so is it a plate for your car? Here, I'll hold it. I got long arms here. It's about, it looks like it's about the size of a license plate. I'm sure you can find a place on the wall to mount it. I totally amongst will. Amongst the, the uh, six million other things that are on the wall. Yeah, it's just an Overwatch plate. It's not, there's no holes for your car or anything. No, it's a, it's a metallic plate. It's got, um. It's got all the characters on. It looks cool. It's I'm gonna raised. Hang it up. I mean, it's, it's a nice plate. Yeah, it's just weird. Like, I didn't, I don't know if that's part of the collector's, it wouldn't be because it'd be it's in not, the box, right? It's not right? part of the collector's edition, but it was that something that, that came after the fact. All right, so we got the plate. Plate's pretty cool. We'll count that as part, is that part of our ranking on the collector's edition? Is that, or is that just a bonus? That's a bonus. Okay. Bonus now, doesn't count. This is the heaviest collector's edition box I've ever picked up in my life. When I went to get it from outside this morning, or this afternoon, I picked the I started to pick it up, and I'm like, dang, this is heavy. It weighed 15 pounds. Is that what it did? You looked it up? That's what the uh, shipping label said it weighed. Whoa. All right. So this is by far the heaviest collector's edition I've ever seen. It's a sexy box. I'm going to let you figure out how to open this contraption, and I'm going to watch. Well, before we get to that, I wanted oh. to share something yes. with our viewers at home. Oh, yes. I noticed today that Best Buy has a collector's edition for Halo 5 on sale for $9.99. That's $99.99. Down from its original $250 price. If you have Gamers Club Unlocked, that means you can get it for $80. Hmm. Things to ponder. I might get that. All right, moving on. Back to Overwatch. <laughs> All right, open this up. No, no, please, I'm dying. I wanted to open this earlier. We didn't. Now we're here. Spin it around, let you see what's it's a, coming. It's a really sexy box. It's got all the original characters. I don't know if Overwatch is going to add more. I don't, I, they may. This is a really pretty box. And this is just the overlay. Now, I think that Blizzard always goes above and beyond on everything they do. I am a huge Blizzard fan. So, I mean, like, I really like the StarCraft II box. You're probably going to tip it up and slide it out, huh? Yep. I really like the StarCraft II Collector's Edition box. I thought that was really, really cool. This one looks, oh my God, it's so big. Amazing as well. So it's like a sleeve and then there's like a box in a box. So now this is a cutout. Case oh, it is? Tell. When yes. you rotate around, I gotta poke it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Okay, here All we right. go. I'm dying. Let's come. Oh my God, I gotta know. I gotta know. We gotta tip it out. Is there anything else? Oh. Is there anything else in here? There's nothing else there's in There's the hole. Amazing. Man, that's... Even the bo even this this piece is heavy. This is like heavy. Do I like I like that it's got a good feel to it. I know it sounds stupid, but I like the feel of a box with the collector's edition. It's important. Whoa! I have never seen a box open like this. That's cool. That's really cool. That is. This is a neat box. All right, let's turn the sucker around and we will rip open the contents. Now, I haven't looked online. I have no idea what's in here. All I know is that at some point, I distinctly remember the statue was supposed to be of Tracer. Okay. And it's not. It's Soldier 76, who I love. I'm happy with that. Is that a Velcro strip in there? There is a Velcro strip in here. Man, the packaging in this is insane. I know we're blocking. Why don't you pull everything out and we'll put this out of the way. Why don't we do that? Yeah, everyone, that way we can look at the st uh, stuff. Wow, look at this. Here, can you hold this for one second? I'm gonna yep. turn it strong. Yep. Look at all like, these little cutouts and everything in here for this. 
little bit of uh, lined. It's got like, this is amazing. Kind of Velcro strap holding in. Our work goes all the way around as Rachel showed you. I'm going to put this on the ground, but that is an amazing box. I know I sound corny saying that, but that's amazing. All right. All right so, let's dive right in. Let's move this out of the way. We'll do this last. What do we got? We got What's a so steel right book. Oh, cool. Okay, so... So Tracer on the front. Yes. An evil reaper on the back. So very important, as we've all determined, that a steel book have something different on the front and the back. Yes. And inside's our code. You're not going to show anybody. Inside is our code. And you're not going to show well anybody our, that. Our uh, Widowmaker skin. Is that the only skin it comes with? Yes. Claim your Nor Widowmaker skin for the Origins edition yep okay i'll put this over here so we can redeem it because we haven't redeemed it yet oh you're putting your hand over it i see this ending really poorly enjoy the free copy of overwatch everybody <laughs> that is a game very good that was really clever now i don't need the dvd i've already downloaded the game i've good, already but got good it on my news, computer guys, this one comes with a dvd so you might not have to download the entire thing from scratch like doom a la doom okay got a steel book i'm gonna put that up here what's All next right. Looks like we got some postcards. What? Postcards? That's a lot of post. Is that all postcards? I believe it is. What? Okay. So Overwatch obviously takes place in this futuristic world where the heroes of Overwatch have uh, kind of gone away. And now they're being called back into action. And evilness has re-arisen. They're all being activated. So these are maps from the game. So Dorado... Okay. You know, if there's, I guess, are the backs different? Not really. I'm sure the backs, backs are slightly different. Get rid of the backs. Hannah Mira. Hollywood. Hollywood definitely is a map of the game. Oh, that's cool. This is really cool. Ilios. I don't know where that. That must be a map in the game. I don't remember Ilios. At first, I thought these were like their origins. King's Row, that's a map in the game. I think those were traces China. from China. China. Numbani. That's a map. Yeah, you gotta do it. Yeah, you go. City of Harmony. Route 66. That's a map in the game. I guess these are all maps. I don't remember a lot of these. Route 66. Yeah, that's a fun map. Nepal. Trying to move that little cart out of Route 66 and everyone's just smoking at the gas station. Temple of Anubaris. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Jewel of the Nile. It appears we got two of those. So nice, you get it twice. Bonus. Free giveaway. I don't know. <laughs> Voskaya. Yeah, Voskaya, I remember that. Now traveling and to Voskaya. No, no, no. The watch point. The watch point. That must be like their headquarters. So there's all of our postcards. The, so this is the best one, the watch point, because it's actually got the Overwatch logo. A lot of these you wouldn't know. Like if I hung this on the wall, right? If I hung China on the wall, would you be like, oh my God, that's Overwatch? No. I'm gonna need to borrow this. Now. You don't need to show the, okay. As all good Blizzard. What is it? Does that say free Jaina? As all good Blizzard games. I paid like it comes 15,000 gold for her. It comes with cards. Cards. So for Heroes of the Storm, we have a free Jaina. Jaina. I gotta see this. What? Who does not have Jaina who watches? If you play Heroes of the Storm, and you, do you want Jaina? You don't even play. Would you play now? No. A free pack of Hearthstone cards. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, the real question is, are these for the new ones? I think it's the newest, latest, greatest pack. And there's the probably ones, like three of them. Or those. the ones that don't count. Oh, there's and there ones. are. There are three packs. Kevin. Um, StarCraft 2. You could show that. I don't care. No one cares. That's a guest pass. Free guest pass. Ooh. So what they're doing now is a lot of synergies. I appreciate that. World of Warcraft. I just like the Free art. Free guest pass. You know, even with the guest pass, the art's embroidered. Like, it's, uh, like, different material. Not embroidered. What would you call that? Like, it's raised plastic? It's, like, shiny. I don't know if you could tell or not. Almost but like, like embossed or something. You could tell rain or shiny, but the background isn't. That is so cool. Man, I'm telling you, everything this company does, even free stupid crap like this, stupid crap like this, this is, like, amazing quality. It blows my mind away. Now. It really does. 
Good stuff. What's that? Looking at a soundtrack. Okay, so while you're opening that, I really like the soundtrack for Star uh, StarCraft. You're kind of a fanboy for all soundtracks. I do. Saying. I love one of my. I listen. You know, I was listening to them the, my uh, work today. The Dark Souls Three song. That's hardcore, dude. I was listening to the Abyss Watchers fight in my way to work. It's very like or- orchestral, like don like very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like brooding and gloomy, and I'm just driving to work. Like I love this. You mean so, like typical Monday morning music? So yeah, so I'm I'm a soaked. I'm, I I love all the stuff with Overwatch. All right, so there is our Overwatch soundtrack. The Overwatch soundtrack. Cool. There's the back. Collector's edition. What's inside? Codes. Do we have codes. <gasps> no codes. The actual soundtrack. Oh, that's cool, man. I know him from the game. He's like the sound. He's the Lucio. He's in one of the maps. He's like he's on tour. Let's drop the beats. Gives everybody so, a boost. That's cool. Got a soundtrack. Oh, what a great collector's case. There's something here though. There's more stuff. Oh, well, there's more. There's more. I'm sorry. It's like a little card with Widowmaker on it, like a little placard, and like a thank you card. Searching the future, all the uh, all the people that were involved. Special thanks. Am I on the special thanks? I'm sure you're. I'm sure you are. Somebody. Mike Morheim gets a special thanks. Yeah, thanks for giving us a job. Why would you thank the president of the company on the soundtrack? How about uh, special thanks to guys like me who blew 150 bucks on this? All right, so let's move on. We've got a visual source book. Oh man, what's that? It looks cool. Visual source book. Is it a pop up book? What know. happened to pop-up books? They were the thing. Look yeah, at the back case. When you were like a two-year-old. Look at the plastic case. When do you get that in a collector's edition? You don't. You don't get it. It's just reflecting. Let me go away. So this book is um, what? Real flimsy. I would say made out of like a cardstock type material, so it's not a hard back. So book. yes. <laughs> just open a random page. That wasn't a very good choice. Let's try again. That's amazing. So what is that? Is that a bio? Like, who is that? Read that to me. What is this? We're all soldiers now, and it talks about abilities. Well, that's an amazing segue. That's an amazing segue. Yes. To Soldier 76. Now we say the best. I got to look through this book. I'm sorry. I'm very excited. Here. Okay, now. What? While you're opening that. While I'm opening This it. is actual bios on each of the characters? Each character has their own overview, heroes, environments, and credits. Over 170 pages of all Overwatch stuff. This is a true fan book. It's got all the maps. It's got all the types of, like, the, what you need to know about the maps. All the characters, bios, weapons, loadouts, their famous quotes, their name, where they're from. This is a true collector's edition book. No joke. Like, for real? Like, we've gotten books from, like, Batman. We've gotten books from Dark Souls. This is really, really cool. So I'd like to point out to, you, sorry. to everybody. I am so nerding out right now. Yes. That on the bottom of this, we've got the Blizzard logo. Yes. On the styrofoam. Hardcore. As well as. So you don't forget. You the don't Overwatch. Forget. This is one of those collectors that, well, maybe not this. I don't really know if I care so much about this styrofoam. But I got to say that, like, everything I've seen here, maybe with the exception of these postcards, and the only one really was that, where's that one at? I would display and I'd be proud to like, like this doesn't belong on the shelf. Oh my God. My ears, can you just cut that? Oh my God, that's so loud. No, it's not really. All right, just rip it, just do it, who cares? I'm afraid if I cut it, just, I'm gonna just cut Just do it. it. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, sorry, let me get the blood out. What? It sounds worse than Adam's microphone. Oh, oh. inside joke. <laughs> Still not open after all that ripping? Well, I think it has two layers of tape. Right? Two layers of tape! Only Blizzard! Two layers of tape for maximum collector's edition protection. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. I'm still working at getting this tape open. I see this. Take your time. We got nowhere to be. We're just geeking out. Now, normal people would do a jump cut. Oh my god! Ah! I thought you were done. I like. 
Now on to it. Alright, thanks for putting stickers all over what I was holding. Finally. Cool. Alright, so anything else in here? Oh, there is more. There is. If you, uh... This, like this is what's so heavy. He actually picked this up. I'll move out of the way. There's nothing else in here. There's nothing else in there. Remove for base. Okay, I could remove for base. This base is very heavy. This is probably... How many pounds is this? A couple pounds? Easy. About two. No way, more than that. Oh, it's got instructions. we got to make sure we follow the instructions. We have two sets of instructions, just in case. Okay. Looks like you put his legs down and spread them out. Spread them. And then you... Is it going in? Is it going in? Do you need to see it again? Can I fill the statue to lift it up real quick if you want? Oh, okay, let me look at it real quick. Okay, I have my opinion now. Let me move this up to the camera. Let's talk a little bit about the statue. Let me get this plate out of the way. This is like loot porn. You know what I mean? This is like- There's a lot of stuff. This is a lot to like take in. All right, so let's talk about Soldier 76 a little bit. Okay. I'll put it right here, camera focus for a second. All right, Soldier 76 is like one of the iconic characters. I mean, I think they're all iconic, but really Soldier 76 and Tracer and Winston for the good guys and Reaper for the bad guys. So it makes sense that he would be kind of one of the statues. Okay. So looking at this, what do you think? I personally am disappointed. Why? I would have preferred the Tracer statue. Tracer is the iconic Overwatch character, in my opinion. Okay. Here's his face. Oh, let's see, we got too much of a desk here. It's our problem. We need a we need a better camera. Can we get a better camera? Yes, dear. You know what I like is the detail in the back. The, I think the back actually looks better than the front. Um, He's got his cool gun. He's got his little side revolver or side pistol here. He's got this big gun that he carries, all these grenade packs all over his shoulder and his arm and everything. And his... A very stable base. It is. It's heavy duty, man. This is no joke. With the Overwatch logo on the base. No joke. I mean, it's no fan that spins with an LED light, but... No, it's not. But it's okay. Okay, so you get the statue. Let me move this down a little bit more. All right, so you get the statue. You get the statue. Boom. You get. The, are we counting the plate? We said. No, we're not counting the plate. Plate does not make the cut, but it's very, very neat. That is cool. You get the uh, soundtrack. The Overwatch Collector's Edition soundtrack. The steel book. The steel book. A boatload of. Uh, Trading car, uh, postcards, post which I don't know. Mm, we'll put it down the front. And uh, free Jaina. Free Jaina. I thought Tracer was gonna come with the Hero Digital Storm. Uh, Digital Storm. Heroes of the Storm Digital. I thought it was a Tracer code because I was really excited to finally try Tracer, but I was kind of surprised that that's what I was looking through when you were talking. Unless it's somehow in, with the key, maybe it knows. Maybe, maybe it is attached with the key. It might be because they do a lot of synergy stuff now where you install a game. Oh, our box is so heavy it ripped under its own weight. Well, that's not good. That's how powerful the box is. Do you have the cover that has all the contents, that sleeve? Yes, I do. I was going to look at that while you're, looking, while you're holding that up. Here. Thank you, dear. Yeah, sure enough. Okay. So also includes. Can I read the also includes? Because this is, this is important. Yes. So we got all this stuff here, right? Includes the Soldier 76 statue, the Overwatch game, five origin skins. Pay homage to the original Overwatch Strike Force by wearing the vintage skins. And there's five different characters that have their original skins. This is a vintage skin, apparently. Overwatch Visual Source Book, Overwatch Collector's Edition Soundtrack, Postcards, and a Steel Book. Also includes Heroes of the Storm, Tracer Hero, World of Warcraft, Baby Winston Pet, Diablo 3, Mercy's Wings, Hearthstone Cardback, StarCraft 2 in game portraits, and the Widowmaker uh, Nior skin. 
Okay, that is a slew of stuff. So the a other slew of stuff so, that blows my mind. How much stuff is there? So I'm not sure if you pointed this out or not, but in this art book, yes, it talks. It gives a biography for each character. I did. As well as it talks about their abilities. I did talk about that too. So this, in my opinion, the is, cheat sheet is good. <laughs> this is what is good that comes out of an art book. So you can learn because it helps you to remember the game. When you open it I up. I love it. And now you know they're going to change everything in a week and they're going to nerf everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's but Blizzard. pretend they don't nerf anything. That's Blizzard. Anything. We know Blizzard does that. All right. You get a lot of stuff here. This was, I believe, 140? I don't remember how much it was. Let's say 140. Okay. Best Buy Gamer Club Unlock, let's say 125. So let's say this is the same price as Doom. I don't know. So I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. What? Impossible. I, I was really looking forward to the Tracer statue. You could buy a Tracer statue. In addition, I'm not sure what I think about this um, this skin on Soldier 76. Okay, so it's definitely a... It almost looks like a statue, like a bronze statue, like you would see out in like a museum or something. Like you can even see some of the detail where like it looks like it's turning varnish or whatever like on his collar yeah but it's it's dark with like a gold overlay and i'm i don't know look at you could see his zipper his zipper little zippers the actual zipper yeah but here's here's kind of my my struggle with that there's no struggle it's real easy to make a one color which is almost what this is pretty monotone with with a little bit of accent pretty monotone Look at the detail. Whereas, I Look at some of the detail on his gun. Look whereas, at his zipper. if you're going to co make a colored statue, it takes more work and more effort to make it look good. So, I'm kind of meh on the statue. I knew you were going to say that. Okay. For me, I love the statue. Because I love Overwatch. I like the statue. It's going to... Yes, it is very monotone. Um, it's akin to like the Batman statue we have, where it's all kind of this weird plastic. But it has enough detail in it when you really look at it, where you can tell that it's aged intentionally. Different things pop out. It's not just like, hey, let's take a black cam spray paint. Psh. There's definite detail to it. The Overwatch base is awesome. The attention to detail is awesome. I love it. I think it's a great, great statue. Yes, the Doom statue has a lot of cool detail, but this doesn't have... You're not going to get distracted by all the plasticky colors on this one like some of the other ones we have. So this, looks like, this looks like this would be in a monument next to Honest Abe. Right. So, Jim, how would you rate this collector's edition? On a scale from 1, 2, and 10. 1 to 10? Yes. Easily infinity. This is without a doubt. Without a doubt. The best collector's edition I've ever gotten. And I'm not just saying that because of the hype. I mean, look, I read you all the digital loot. All the games, every Blizzard game, every Synergy loot. The art book alone I'm going to read just to read. It looks amazing. I want to know more about the world. The steel book, the postcards, I'd say the only thing I don't care about is postcards. You throw those in the garbage. Whoever made the postcards, I'm sorry, but they're not that great. Um, the soundtrack, hell yeah, and the statue. No brainer, amazing. Oh, and Jaina, Jaina Proudmore. That was an unexpected surprise. What does that say about people who like Jaina? We're just paltry, giveaway free people. Well, isn't she kind of an older hero? Uh, she's she's about twelve heroes old now. Yeah, so. Dude, I rock with Jaina. Conical, Blizzard. I see. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're, what do you think? Tell me what your opinion is. What do you think about this collector edition? And then rank it among the greatest of all times. Because it is. So there's a lot of stuff that came with this collector's edition. Oh, yeah. There's a nice steel book. you got a soundtrack. The huge box. You've got the box. The box. Which I ripped. The box is a pretty amazing box. It's like the Destiny box. I ripped. I got excited. Yeah. That's typical. Um, the art book. Probably one of the best art books I've seen. By far, that is the best. That is so, the best. This would be something if they sold in a store and I knew it was this, I would have bought it. Like in a heartbeat, I would have bought so it. So the only thing that I wish they had done differently with this art book. Made a real book. Is to make it hardcover. 
I know. I, I if don't if know it was it. hardcover, it's too wavy. It, it's well, and I'm afraid as I'm looking through it, I'm going to mess it up oh, on the yeah, outside. That's good. Thank you. I will look through it first. <laughs> so, oh my God. Um, the statue again, like I said, I think Tracer is the iconic Overwatch character. I'm bummed that they took her out. Tracer, um, Tracer Gate. You know, I'm sorry if it offends people um, that she has a slightly sexualized pose. However. Oh, yeah. What's her pose in here? However. I'm curious now. Now you got me wondering. In the... Just the normal pose. To, no to butt the, shots. To the extent of what you see in video games, even to what some of their female characters are wearing in Warcraft amongst other... Um, what are you saying? Games, Iron bikinis Diablo are in right now? Diablo 2. Um, come on, guys. Iron bikinis are the end thing. So just because we're trying to be more PC, you took the female character out of the stat- out of the uh, collector's edition? I think they did the collect. I think the statue was a long time ago, but I really vaguely remember this original thing was Tracer. It wasn't because of the Tracer game. This was long before that. The, don't really... I mean... Maybe there were some like rumblings about it in the past, but it wasn't because of that. I think. But so why couldn't we have a female character as our statue? I leave you with that, Blizzard. Eight and a half out of ten. Eight and a half out of ten. What? Why did it lose a point and a half? It's everything the true fan wants. There's nothing else they could have done short of inviting me to live in their world with them. All right, so we got some postcards. That I don't really care about. Right in the garbage. Pretend to take the postcards out of the equation. But I can't because they're, they were given to us. So if you're going to give me postcards, mm. give me something that's cool. Destiny gave me some x-ray um, cards. That was cool. That was unique. Destiny gave you like greetings from Venus and Mars. Right. So if I wanted to make a shadow box, I could do something like that that was cool. Yeah, you're not going to make a shadow These box. Postcards, Other than that top one of the actual Overwatch rocket, like their headquarters... Yeah, you're not like, oh, welcome to China. These postcards are kind of boring. So They're lame. Sorry. Fodder. We should have brought something else. Um, I just can't believe you're saying 8 out of 10. The steel book. It is a flat steel book. Oh, my God. We're there micromanaging is, the steel book now? You're asking me to rate it. It's a flat steel book. The statue. Is I'm lacking. Sh- I'm shock, guys. I am in shock. Is lacking in color. Oh my god! Yeah. The art book. Don't you dare say something bad about it. Oh, the book. The, cover. the art book should have a hard cover to it. You bend the corners. You hold it like that. Exactly. Exactly my point. Well, don't hold it like that. The soundtrack. Amazing. I'm excited about the soundtrack. Of course. The box. Amazing. Other than the fact that it ripped under its own weight. That's <laughs> so powerful. The box. I have to say, the packaging on this was superb. It was. It, it was very exciting. It was um, heavy prob- duty. Probably the best packaging that I've seen in a very long time. Blizzard always, always, always turns it up a notch on everything they do. But again, it just, it, it was almost there, but the details just weren't there for me. Very good. Therefore, it's a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now, if I included that metal plate... If, if we had put the metal plate in instead of the postcards, mm-hmm. we're probably at a nine. But, all that being said, great collector's edition. It is. For the true... It's, it's worth it, I would almost say, for the art book and the box alone. For the true Blizzard fan, <laughs> for the true Blizzard fan, for the true Overwatch fan, this is everything that it's you a could possibly have. bring. It's an absolute must-have. I'm very happy I got it. A lot of the collector's editions we've opened in the past, I got them and I was like, hmm, that's it. And it wasn't that exciting. This is something I want to like talk about. I want to show to people. I want to like enjoy it. I just want to like, like this is the kind of statue like I take to work and then I take home with me. And I just be like, hey, Soldier 76, we're going to work. Boop, come into a meeting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, be, don't be setting that on your art book. You'll mess I mean, it up. I mean, seriously, like that is amazing. So... You said it all. We've said it all. We've talked for 30 minutes about one of the best games that I have played in a very long time. I'll do some uh, reactions to it in the very near future. My handle is JimmyPound1220. If you want to throw down with me and my boys, 
And if you ever want to get the game, we'll get you a computer. You could throw down and play, or you could just leech off of me. That's fine. So if you play with Jimmy Pound 1220 and that, par- that character's having a bad game, okay? Not me. I'm a KDR. I'm a solid three. I'm a solid three to one KDR. I live this stuff. So that's all we got. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming upstairs and doing this with me. Thank you. As you know, how excited I was for this. Yes. Checking the tracking number almost like hourly. When we found out we were going to get it on Monday. I blew a gasket. I was stoked. Someone, and someone nerded out. I ner- I'm nerding out right now. This is real. This is real nerd. Real life. Guys, this is some real shit. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what uh, when Rachel's on, you need to like like the video and say we like when Rachel's on because I show her those comments and then try to get her back more. The next collector's edition we have, I don't think we have any more. This was kind of it for a while. I'm well, drawing a blank on what's next. I, I'm not sure. I, I Maybe think Halo 5. Wait. Maybe Halo 5. Because <laughs> it's a statue. I don't know what I'm going to do with the game. I don't need the game. Maybe Walmart around the center. Anyways, that's all for today. Anything else? (laughs) No, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Love you all. And until next time, we will see you guys on the other side.